Hi, it's Wayne DeWitt here. Um, today I'm going to talk to you about the new strapped Redbacks knee pads. Uses exactly the same technology, the leaf screen technology, which is amazing. Please refer to my previous video, which is on YouTube, Tool Talk 1. What makes the new strapped knee pad different from the original? Well, lots of things really. As you know, lots of guys really don't like pain. I certainly don't like pain. So comfort to me, whilst I'm working, I have my work clothes on for at least eight hours a day. Now, a lot of the time, I'm actually kneeling on my knees. So the new strapped version gives me an added benefit. Still the same comfort, but a few extras. It gives me a strap, which is flexible. So obviously if I'm getting in and out of the van, I don't have to take them off. Um, it gives me incredible comfort. I know you can't feel it, but I can. And it's really, really soft. Now, during the summer months, and sometimes even through the winter, if the heating's on and some of the jobs, I will put shorts on. Uh, get a bit of jit for it, but I'll put shorts on. Now, if I've got shorts on, I can't wear my knee pads. So with the knee pads in the straps, guys, it allows me to wear the strapped red backs. Um, what I have noticed is lots and lots of video reviews on YouTube and everywhere it's out there, even on Instagram now, uh, of people talking and showing uh, knee pads. Nothing wrong with that. But what I have noticed is everybody is banging on about the outer shell. You know, that it won't scratch the surface. You know, it's tough for this and tough for that. Redbacks has got uh, a durable fabric that's anti-penetration. But really, who cares about the outside? For me, the most important bit is the inside. The bit that's going to have my knees sitting next to them for up to eight hours a day. So the new strap version for me really ticks all the boxes. You can wash them. What I do is when they get a bit grubby, as you can see, <laughs> mine are certainly grubby, um, stick them in a bucket of water, give them a little swish, and then just put them on the side to dry. They don't take that long. Obviously, uh, the, the, the technology inside is waterproof, so it's only the fabric that's got to dry. Um, that's it.